In this short video, we're going to take a look at how to set up your account so you can get started using all the features that BrokerSumo offers. The first thing you'll do when you log into your new account is fill out your broker information. This is important information that we need to help customize your account. You'll want to fill in your broker license number, your company address, city, state, and zip code. phone number, fax number, your website address, if you want to add a second email you can, your tax ID, upload your logo, and then go ahead and click submit. Next, you'll want to click the Settings button and then the Commission Plans option. And let's begin setting up your custom commission plans. So go ahead and click the Add Plan button. Give your plan a name. Select a rollover date. You have a few different options to choose from. Select how the levels should be based on, either gross commission or sales price. We're going to select sales price for this example. And check if you want to prorate levels. If you don't, just uncheck the box. In addition, if you want to add a flat fee plan, just click the flat fee checkbox and you'll be able to enter a flat fee percentage. Now we can start adding different levels to our plan. So once I've added a level, the system's automatically going to create the next level for me. The only thing I'll need to do is add the percentage for this final level. In addition, if I want to add an additional level, it'll insert that between the first level or however many levels I have and my final level. Makes it really easy to create custom plans. So now that I've got everything set, I'm going to go ahead and click Save Changes. And now my commission plan has been created. Now we'll do a flat fee plan. You can follow the same steps, except when you get down to the flat fee checkbox, go ahead and check it, enter the percentage, and click the Save button. Next, we'll set up our standard onboarding package. Click Settings in the left menu, and then click Onboard. This is where you'll be able to set up all the documents you need signed and all the information you want collected from a new agent. So let's go ahead and click Add Documents, and we'll start adding our documents to the plan. You can add as many as you'd like, and when you're sending packages out to an agent, you'll always be able to customize these at that time if you need to add additional documents. So I selected two documents to be sent, and then there's some additional items I can select. Upload real estate license, enter a real estate license number and expiration date, upload your driver's license, and upload a copy of your car insurance. If you've activated the credit card feature so you can bill your agents on a monthly basis, you'll be able to collect this information as well. The same applies to the banking information for the direct deposit feature. Once you're done, click Save Changes. And your onboarding package has been completed. Now let's add some users. Click the My Account tab on the left and then click Staff Users. You can add as many staff users as you'd like, so all your office staff will be able to access the system and manage your agents and your transactions. Just enter their email address, click the Add User button, and the system will automatically send them an email inviting them to set up their own account on BrokerSumo so they'll be able to log in and access the system. 
Staff users will not have access to the My Account section or the Settings section. They'll only be allowed to access the reports, the transactions, the agents, and the dashboard. And that's how you set up your BrokerSumo account.